Okay. So here's my Skyrim bingo card, and you can go to tinyurl uh, dot com slash vine scringo s k r i n g o, and feel free to uh, play along. And you will. You will enjoy, maybe. I'll explain it in a second. So if you didn't do this last week, the idea is whenever something happens, um, you just check it off and then you try to get bingo. That's it. Last week, people tweeted their bingo cards to me. Do the same, you know, at the end of the stream. Don't really talk about it too much during the stream. But if you um, if you want to share your results, tweet them to me. That's that's preferred. Thank you, Sad Vega, for updating this, and the other dude for the idea. I forgot the other dude's name because I am a hack, hack fraud. So you can cross off bad jokes by Vinny. But no, I'll be um, doing mine at the end of the stream. You can see we've got NPC rants about Skyrim belonging to the Nords, Blade Runner reference, teleports behind you, um... Psychic Guards, Lusty Argonian Maid, Vinny Encounters Lynn in-game. There is a Lynn, but it's not going to be Buttons Lynn. You know what I mean? So that probably won't happen, but if I encounter a Lynn, any Lynn at all, then yes. I also ordered a new HDMI splitter so that this bullshit won't happen anymore with the, the stream going offline. Or, um, you know, no signal. That's different. I didn't turn it on yet. Okay, here we go. How does one cross off? Uh, I guess you just take a picture of it and then you exit out on your own. Use MS Paint. It's a really cool program. You might have used it. Ringo uses it. Um, and every card is randomly generated from a pool of different... Um, things very technical but it's worth playing it's fun turns out some of the same shit happens every week anyway let me explain what's going on so again feel free to play bingo scringo whatever if not that's cool too um, I want to tell you I actually did play a little bit during the week and I got a couple of, um, some things. You'll see. It was a lot. It was a long-ass motherfucking mission. And I would not recommend... I wouldn't recommend it for streaming. I'm glad I did it off-stream. It's, um, part of the Dawnguard quest. It was like an hour and a half to two hours of me going through a series of caves and outdoor areas in order to light beacons and then get a bow. It it was a little bit much. I keep expecting the glitches to run out, if you know what I mean. Like, I always feel like I can't top the previous week. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I feel like we're done with glitches. Isn't that right, Serana? Do you need something? It sounds like... That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Okay. Sure. Do you have any arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. See? Serana has more dialogue I think you'll than, like, none. Find some arrows first. 
Only elven ones will work for this, remember? I thought I had elven arrows. I think I turned them into... Um, this dude. It's a long story, I'm not gonna get into it, but I have the Oriole's bow thing now. Undead targets take triple damage from this bow. And I have arrows that are amazing. I have... Sun-hallowed elven arrows. Yeah, I turned all my elven arrows into these. It's so Shit. bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. Vinny, are you using a controller? I, every week I get that. Can, can that be a bingo parameter next week? Vinny, ew, why you play with controller? This is... <laughs> it's good to speak this to is, you again. This is the Switch version of Skyrim. And therefore, I have no choice. It already is a parameter? Are you serious? It was on my card? Hang on, let me check. Chat member gets Vinny to reply about using a controller. Oh, wow. Alright, check it off. You, you know what must be done. And that might have even been Japes to force me to reply. So... Whoever did that, you played a good chess game. Good job. I'm proud of you. Could have been staged. Maybe I just wanted my own bingo card to have that extra spot. Huh? Never know. So here, here's one of those caves I told you about. Hey, at least I have cool looking arrows now. Yeah. Ooh, Serana just took massive damage <laughs> by Boulder. Um, and she said WAG in the prog- in the process. W-A-G-H, WAG. Um, is there a way to, like, get the fuck out of a cave quickly? Uh, there's no, like, mirror, like, in Link to the Past, right? No. No escape rope like Secret of Mana. You could fast travel from that place you were at earlier. Really? Oh, okay. You could fast travel from where you were with the shrine. What is that horrendous noise? Do you need something? No, 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 no. I need to go to the balcony. <laughs> I wouldn't count that as a save scum. I trust you're very well. <laughs> this is not... Oh, okay. Yeah, this is its own area. So, it's not like... You, you can't really get there unless you go through the cave. Wog. So last time I was doing Dark Brotherhood stuff. I might continue doing that for this stream. Because it's a good series of quests. And they give some pretty interesting rewards. And we get more Cicero! Oh. Okay. Why is a giant threatening my cow? What are you what are you doing, giant? Well, okay. Mhm. Mm the stanky foot. 
You know, you're tall enough to just... Oh! What are you doing? I'm not intervening, mind you. Cowish. Whoa! Did the... Where... Hello. Can, can you just tell me where my cow went? Please? No? Okay. Um, I'll just be going. Just be, uh, going this way. This guy's not- not got a single care in the world. No problems, right? Nah, no, no problems. Not a problem, not a care in the world. Where do you want to go? I don't know, away from the giant, maybe? Where do you want to go? Been here the whole time, Serana. Nice. Where do you want to go? I want to go home. I want to go home, like away from video games. Oh man, rip cow. Okay, now I'm gonna save scum. Where do you want to go? Watch the clip to see the cow's fate. Well, hang on a minute. I think, you know, I turned around just as the cow was heading into space. My idea is I want to I want to go back and watch the cow get launched into space. I'm not trying to save the cow. I just want to watch what happened. But I'm not sure if it will happen. I'm not sure if the giant will be back. Let's let's take a look at that in slow motion. So, here we go. See I'm turning. Yep, there you see it. There you see it. Wow. It just disappeared. It went so high up that it disappeared. Okay, the giant is back. We, we get a part two of this. This is a good experiment, because we get to see what the, um, AI does. That's your priority, Serana? Oh. Oh, that was a whole lot more brutal. <laughs> Fucking driver is coughing and sniffing. Gauzing. Giant is just looking down at, at his victim. Contemplating the meaning of life and death. Possibly regretting the actions it has taken. It's okay, man. I understand. You regret it. Killing's never easy. It's hard to take a life. Nice foot. One more time. Okay, so we've done... two times. In order for this experiment to be qualified as such, we need to see what happens the third time.
Serrano was resurrecting the cow. I didn't I didn't see that. Someone's already got bingo. Amazing. Okay. It's Schrodinger's cow. Does the cow go into space and disappear, never to be seen again? Or perhaps does the cow Um, do, do we lose signal? HDMI splitter's on the way. Or perhaps does the cow just get murdered in cold blood? Okay, the weather's different, I think. Alright, so the giant... ...is threatening the cow. The cow has gotten away! Oh my god! Good shit! Good shit! Three different times, three different results. Some light arrows from Zelda. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, burn the body! I like these arrows. Big old tusk. I don't know why I said that, or why I said it like that. It's almost like gross and disturbing. Well, this has been an interesting day. Uh, barely even started. Three parallel universes. I think the cow transcends universes, though. In the first universe, the cow got away, but meekly, and was launched. In the second universe, the cow tried to wait it out a bit, you know, and then tried to get away, but was too slow. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard Why are you about. smelling his dick? Cow's like, let me smell your dick. Cow is very pleased that the giant is dead, and now will return to its proper spot. In the third universe, the cow was very, very smart and fast. Oh, you've been here the whole time, huh, Lydia? Just watching the fun? Just watching the carnage unfold? Yeah. Make it look like that was intentional, huh, Serana? And all is well in the world. Yet again. Lydia should be keeping my animals safe. I'm really disappointed. Shoot arrows at the sun. Okay, I will. Someone in chat just said Lydia was mining her own business. Mm-hmm. Mods. I'm not happy that you have to ban someone so soon into the stream. But they will not be missed. Anyway, Oriole's bow as opposed to the Zephyr. I guess I'll use Oriole's bow for a while. They fixed the crackling in, um, in Doom, but they did not fix it in this game. That's a good thing. Let me just, uh... Disenchant that real quick. It's not a real ban, we're joking around. Come on, chat, you know better.
Vinny, I'll never understand why you pun-ish people for such simple jokes. Let's see, kick a man while he's down. Elven armor, advanced armors, and glass. Hmm. Just drop off a couple chads at the pool real quick. Oh yeah, I have this ancient Falmer set. It looks okay. Kind of turns my character into a jabroni. Doesn't have any effects. So it just kind of looks good. And that's it. And it doesn't even look that good. I got these execution hoods still. Gotta keep one with me at all times, at least. Um, those I need to sell. I'll just keep these with me, because they're... They don't weigh a whole lot. Uh, shrouded arm. Oh, that's the Spider-Man. Bows do 20% more damage. Steedstone removed. Probably don't need to bring Volsung with me. All the time. Spood. Spood McMahon. Um... And of course, we're going to get rid of the dragon bones and stuff. I'm kind of putting them in a different treasure chest because it's really annoying to have them in one, and then the treasure chest takes forever to load. Oh, my mannequins haven't tried to kill me yet. That's good. You like what the books do? They do a shuffle on their own. It's kind of cool. Whose note was that? Hi. Let's see how much I'm carrying now. That's a much more reasonable amount. That is fucking awesome! I'm sorry, I scared the cow. The cow, the cow got scared! It's seen too much shit in one lifetime. Lydia, we need more animals. I've gone and done it. I've blown up the sun. You know, if... It, if there was a thief in this game... Like, say, like, you know... A thief wanted to, let's say, steal some stuff. I have a lot of valuable stuff in this treasure chest that, that's right here outside. Like a lot of stuff. I wonder. I wonder if they would... They would do such a thing. Even the thieviest thieves would not steal from such a chest. Come on, mate. We've got some standards. Vinny, that's the place they least expect to check. Oh, yes. That's great. I fucking 
I knew there was some logic. Again, my Thane. Certainly. What did you have in mind? Well, I feel like more animals could only be fun. We need a bard. It'd be pleasant to have some music in the house. I'll make some inquiries about retaining the services of a bard. What are you doing? Okay, you just be up there then. Certainly. What did you have in mind? Why am I buying a bard? Ah, good. There's one I've had my eye on. I'll see if it's still for sale. My favorite animal Certainly. is the bard. What did you have in mind? I'll see to it at once. Of course. What are we running short of? No, we good, Lydia. You're weird. What if it's the bard you killed? Like, and Lydia brought it- brought him back, Lurbuk? There once was a bard from the river! She's- she loves being on the stream. Find some elven arrows for my uh Dawnguard quest. Maybe I'll get lucky. That was just for my own amusement. Moose! I really, really shouldn't be wasting these arrows. I guess I didn't get away with it. Oh no, these are vampire. Wow, that's definitely three in a row. That's more than three in a row now. Serana, please! Man, after all those misses, it's a surprise ar archery increase. I was expecting the message, archery has decreased by one point. are expensive, man. They're hard to find, too. Taking them back. Of course I'm taking them back, son. That would be a cool mechanic for an Elder Scrolls game. The more you fuck something up, the less good you are at it. You have vampire aids? I do. Nope, not this time. Volen Rude.
Since the game fucks up so much, would that mean it gets worse as well? Yeah, like every... <laughs> every hour of gameplay... I was always taught to avoid these types of wounds. I think I see why now. Every hour of gameplay... Like, you lose a game mechanic, or something just gets worse. Like, the controls get worse, the graphics get worse. Got ceremonial weapons to pick up here, okay. I feel that way sometimes. Sometimes when I stream after a, like, long day, like yesterday... This is me. This is, like... What? Where did you come from? Yeah, where did you come from? Done and done. Thanks. That was genuinely surprising. Welcome to the Cave of Scoots. Hang on, I'm gonna be using more of Oriel's bow. Because it's new, and it's good. And it's good against undead, so it's pretty much perfect for this... ...whole section. Okay, now, Serana, you don't want to step on that switch, whatever you do. Serana, you don't want to touch the switch. Oh, good! It didn't hear us. On second thought, let's not go to Volenrood. It is a silly place. You can tell I've just watched that movie again recently. Whoops. Sorry, a little gust of air. Brush the cable. Speak with Amand. Uh, there's also the ceremonial weapons. Let's not do that one yet. Maybe I'll come across a ceremonial weapon by accident. But until then, I'm sticking with the Dark Brotherhood quest. Who's there? I knew I heard something. All right, we got this, Serana. You didn't have to bring back a smelly skeleton. Vinny Almond is the side entrance. You went the wrong way. Who's there? That'll teach you. Okay. Fuck 
out of here! I don't even care that that was an ally. Maybe I should just do this quest real quick. It seems like it's like kind of maybe it's easy. I don't know. Seems to be three paths. So three weapons, three paths. Always fun to get sidetracked. By the almighty divines, you've Oh, come. I got sidetracked into the main quest I was doing. Dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. Oh, God, Serrano. As I said, I want you to kill <laughs> several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Ooh. That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do, no? You must understand. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. Now, it's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take what these. The fuck? They need to be delivered to your... <laughs> Rexus? The items. I heard a clap, but no clap was done. Yes, Rexus. Yes, Rexus. The items, please. Thank you. Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something else you need? I performed the Black Sacrament, contacted you people, because I thought you guaranteed discretion. Is this no longer so? In the year 3E41, Emperor Pelagius Septim was murdered in the Temple of the One in the Imperial City, cut down by a Dark Brotherhood assassin. His killing ushered in, shall we say, a necessary change in Imperial policy. There are those now who wish for a similar change. I am sorry, but that's all I'm at liberty to say. <laughs> oh, my furtive friend, when Emperor Titus Mead the Second lies dead, there will be gold, a fortune in gold, but so much more. It is said that the Dark Brotherhood in recent years has been in decline, that you lack the power, wealth, and respect of days past. Is it not so? If you do this, if you kill the Emperor, oh, how the masses will fear and respect you. Oh, Rexus is no mere servant. He has been with the Motier family since I was a child. I trust the man with my life. You must deliver those items to your superior, and I... I must get out of this foul place. Okay, so here's the thing. Someone said that this is a descendant of some dude in Oblivion, but is I don't... Is there something else you need? 
Watch what I don't remember. Doing. I have vowed to serve Armand Mortier until my dying breath. Best remember that. I did like this dude's voice Is actor, there though. something else you need? I mean, comparatively. The Emperor! Wow! Okay, so I got an amulet. Of some kind. This one. That's not that amazing. What do you guys think? Should I kill the Emperor? Sound like a good idea? Yeah, you know what? Yeah! I've already pledged myself to Lord Satan. A number of Lord Satans, like, like, a bunch of them. That's probably a bingo parameter. I mean, I'm using the knife of the dude who was the bad guy from the previous game, right? So, I think it's time to kill the Emperor. I agree. It's time for a change. I don't even know who this guy is. I don't know his policies. I know nothing about this Emperor. He just- but it's time. attack. This would have been the dude to do a sneak attack on. You know what? I'm hoping for an instant kill. Amiibo. I don't want to do an amiibo. Remember, this dagger has a 1% chance of insta-death. to kill. Got an ebony bow that sells for a lot that I'll never sell. Because vendors run out of money. It just becomes a chore to go all over the world. To have to sell the things over and over and over again. And anyway, I have enough money to buy a bard, so what else could I need the money for? Perhaps a houseboat? They don't sell houseboats in Skyrim, do they? House! Evil. 
There's a dude named Knievel. Oh, it's not Knievel. Well, those are some really fucking cool noises. I hear, like, scummy footsteps, but I don't see any scum. Is it glitched in the wall? I think it's above. Isn't that funny how my first instinct is that something is glitched in a wall? Can you blame me? I think I leveled after death. I heard the noise. Ever there was a time to use this bow. Whew. Sneak attack plus critical strike. Do you see what happens? Do you see how easy it is to do this to this game? That was actually pretty impressive. Done and done. Like the dude unsheathed and then a sword went flying. Was that a Vinny admires his archery? I don't know. It was good archery, though. Voice is not a shout, but a whisper, revealing the life forces of any and all. Okay.
Oh no, there's a basket in the way. Where'd you come from? You can't get over that. That didn't look natural in relation to the axe being equipped also. Is that like fucking the maze from Westworld? Who's Arnold? That dragon priest dagger. I have a quest dagger that looks just like that. Oh. Serana, so stop raising these fucking grotty, disgusting corpses. any good? Yeah. It just has a unique look to it. Look at that. Son of a bitch. Wow, still got blood in it. What is that? What were you holding? Scroll of Ice Storm. Thank you. Vinny, what's your favorite breakfast food? Bacon. Is that too easy of an answer? I didn't have to think very long about that. I'm a big fan of the BLT and the bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. So it's like, I think it's obvious. New York bagel? Yeah, New York bagel's alright, but you gotta put some bacon in it, huh? Will Sasso, if you remember who that is, did a cool noise, did a video about like, huh, New York, we're in New York, huh? And then he, he sees um, a Starbucks. He's like, oh, when you're in New York, you gotta get some New York coffee, am I right? Check out Starbucks. And then he goes in. He, he you know, videotapes him, films himself getting the Starbucks coffee. He's like, I, am I right? New York, delicious, huh? Then he goes to the CVS. He's like, oh, look at this. A New York establishment, eh? Check it out. I'm in the CVS. We're gonna get some CVS stuff. And then he goes to Target, he's like, Alright, check this out, I'm in New York City, huh? The cultural capital of the world. I'm embellishing, but you get the idea. It was like a minute and a half long video. I was like, you know what? It's, it's really... It's really sadly accurate because there is... A story that I have where a friend of mine... Um, okay, so someone I don't know was in town and they were asking for a good burger. They, they needed a good burger. They were in Manhattan with one of my friends. And I guess they're, I, I wasn't actually a part of this group. This is just local lore. This is friend lore. Anyway. Newcomer to New York City. She's in the city. She's looking for a good burger. Comes to the city. My friend who I will not name, says that she should go to Five Guys. Because Five Guys has the best burger. Alright, now hang on a minute. Five Guys is a good burger. It's everywhere. You can get a Five Guys almost anywhere. I like the Five Guys burger. But it's not... New York City burger. You want to, you know, get a burger in the city, you go to Jackson Hole 
or you go to some some fancy Rudy Tooty burger restaurant that I probably don't know the name of. I wouldn't recommend a chain if you're in Manhattan. I mean, there's plenty of stuff that you can get that you can't get anywhere else. That's if you're if you're gonna do some tourist shit. Do the tourist shit. Check out all the restaurants and stuff, you know? Yeah, Shake Shack is good. I love- yeah, Jackson Hole is great. You have to eat those burgers with a, uh, fork and knife. They're- they're good. They're really good. You're back. Go to Albany Ooh. and get some steamed hams. Right, so, uh, I see. did you meet this motier? What did he want? You're back. Good. All right, so... You're joking. Yep. Wants to kill the amulet- uh, the Empire. <laughs> the amulet- for- for- Ah, oh, I just had a stroke. I'm good. By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... Now I'm... Yeah, I'm the listener. Cicero's the uh, keeper. I'm the listener! <laughs> You're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. Interesting, right? Do you think Saran is upgrading armor right now? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a oh, fence, I know him. A private operator. Works out of the rat way in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. It's not Serana. Serana doesn't come to the, uh, Dark Brotherhood. That dude. Yeah, Serana doesn't want to come in here. I think it's too spooky for her. She likes to frolic amongst the trees and the sun, because she's a vampire. Apparently that's what vampires do. In Skyrim, that's what they do. And she just complains a little bit. Ah, oh, the sun. Ah. But she then just deals with it. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well, I have! <laughs> <laughs> are you excited? Oh, you should be! Things are finally looking up! Hot. Yeah. Well, you, you could have come in, Serana. And you were kind of already in a cave. Oh, there's that cool little crackle. 
in the left ear. Which is something they had to fix in Doom. You think they would fix it in this game? Just just tickles the hairs in the inner ear, doesn't it? Just tickles them. nice song, isn't it? It's good. I like it. Oh, from one good song to another good song. The game plays to its strengths. Let's make sure no one's around. I wouldn't want them to know. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather. I've I wouldn't want them to know about the secret guild, uh, Thieves Guild hideout. An old woman runs the orphanage. The entire guard of the town. All of them. Every Riften guard. Go fiddling with any locks around here. We're going to have a real problem. Hmm. Hey there. You guards looking for anything in particular? Perhaps a secret entrance to the Thieves Guild? Yeah, I don't know where it is. I doubt such a thing exists. It's only a local legend. Nothing to see here. All right, let's go talk to Delvin. Fine, they're paid off. They're on the payroll. What's on your mind? A helmet. Bad joke. Yeah, you're right. Job's done, boss. Gave the package to her just like you said. So, take a look. Yeah. She said that the yard Hello, welcome to my store. I am a Thieves Guild member that has not been in any other part of Skyrim. I... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Did you know that Skyrim belongs to the Nords? I don't know if you knew that. But, if you really think about it, we were here first. So you know that must mean... You guessed it. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. Funny that. Do you want to buy some food? Uh, uh. <coughs> Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Should I not have sold that? I mean, it's, it's a named sword. I'm never gonna use it. It's fucking trash.
However, you know what I do have? Double dose Dawnbreakers. You need the dagger for a quest? Nah, it's all good. All right then. Yeah. No, I have the. I have the thing already. Uh, there's a, a dagger that looks just like that back at my house. Ready for some work, or are you just gonna wander around all day? Hey, I still have plenty of work to do here. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. Wasn't there another person you could sell stuff to here? I guess not. Hi there. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Hello, my name is Michael Kane. I just want to blow my nose, but I'm busy acting, and I don't blink, and I just keep talking, but I don't blink, and I keep on going. Lying to my face isn't going to win you any favors with me. I can promise you that. On the other hand, taking some of these extra jobs off my hands, now, that'll get you to the top of my list. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Perhaps you've seen me in my movie, The Transporter. Oh, yep, I was in those movies. <laughs> But I've got the voice of Michael Kane. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. But I didn't ask for any of this. We both come out of this smelling like a rose. I, I need to kill the Emperor? Something you need? Anything for the guild? Oh. Oh, I see. There it is. Dark well, Brotherhood business. you're making friends all over, aren't ya? So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? Let's see... Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Specially crafted for each member. who have a small fortune. Yeah, it's not creepy. Stare at me right while you broom. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Buy it. This, an Elder Council amulet? Oh yes, oh yes indeed. Oh wait, just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. I think this dude's a spy. He's not really sweeping. He's busy looking and at me and paying attention. Or he's a fucking magician because he can conjure a broom from his ass. Well, fuck it. I guess I'll have a seat too, Serrano. Why not? Come on! Come on! And I'm stuck.
And I'm stuck. Now I'm not. Still stuck. Can't move. I, I can't move. I'm not kidding, I can't fucking move. It's amazing. I think the, the, the chair just broke me. Todd, why? Well, that's how you do it. Don't look like much to me. That was strange. Both chairs got me stuck. What was that? A lot Nothing. of people are beginning to get impressed with you here, me included. Just wanted to let you know. Cool. Thanks. God, they're still here. Sorry, Saron, I gotta leave you in there. Hello. I was just visiting my dead auntie. Watch the skies, Travel. Auntie Fildred. Uh Gildred Gildred. Hey, uh, auntie Grelid Grelid. Disrespect the no one, you disrespect me. No! No, I was just visiting my old Auntie Grelid. She works with children. I, uh, I heard she was suplexed to death just recently. What a shame. And in this here town, of all towns, this beautiful city of Riften, that definitely does not have a thieves' guild. Crazy. Fucking mental. Who would suplex an old lady? Nice old lady that took care of children. Who would do that? Some fucking monster. Some lizard. Some monster with a tail. Wearing a weird hood or possibly a crown at the time and thieves guild armor and some lizard. Some lizard would do it. I think I'm going to have to suplex the Emperor. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear. Because you're going to a wedding. <laughs> I remember well, this. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Can I play the reins of Castamere? Her name is Vittoria Vici. 
She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. <laughs> Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, <laughs> as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. Oh yeah, yeah, we gotta do this one. Remember, when you kill, we all wield the blade. But I am a little confused about one thing. So because I talk to a corpse, I'm qualified to kill the Emperor. You know, the Emperor of Tamriel. Like, the whole Tamriel. Like that Emperor. Just gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah! Yeah. Can we send the clown? Oh! Hello, Emperor! It is I, Cicero! I'm here to suplex you! Let's get indoors. Perhaps you want a stone cold stunner! Get a bonus if I kill Vici as she addresses the crowd. Twenty four hour role play stream as Cicero. Hmm. Someone who someone who's not subbed just said unsubbed. No. Nah. The fuck? This game has a problem with guards spawning. What do you want? What do you want? What are we doing? What do you want? Who are you? Who said that? What is that? What is, what are you? What are you? Where? What the fuck? Yo, that voice was like right in my ear. If you're looking for opportunities to make some coin, well, I'm your man. I'm sorry, but you did not. Y you were that far away? Everyone needs work, right? Jesus. Good work for you. You look like you could do with a ripe apple, or a tomato, cabbage, or, or leek. Ripened tingle, perhaps. Come back when you figure out how to spend money. Ooh, the sass. Do you know I'm about to kill the emperor and you're talking like that? I suplexed an old lady. I have no problem doing the same. I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look like you might. I hear Radiant Raiments as a large selection. Typical Imperial rot. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land. Do I have to change my clothes? No, it's people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. 
Nothing. I'm so glad Victoria and Asgir chose a public oh, reception. Oh, I know enough. That way the entire I city can share in the I know those making Stormcloaks refuse to submit to Imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason! And when the that it's treason. marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? Against the Dominion, huh? Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. My point exactly. Victoria, my nephew, pretty. the Emperor. But does she have the right? Yes. Okay, can one at a time, please? I want grandchildren. We and won't stand for this slight, I assure you. Victoria did pretty well for herself, marrying that Asgir. Not a bad looking fellow at all. A marriage of both love and political advantage. Sorry, no time to talk. I need to keep playing. Okay. So about that playing. Your lips are not moving pro properly. If you want my opinion, I think they should have paid for an entire quartet. Plenty of bards at the college would have loved. Dude's doing a fucking flute solo. I am, thank you. I do so enjoy singing at weddings. It's just one of the many duties we at the Bards College are, you are all called upon yourselves? to perform. Princess yeah, you Zelda? Say you've met the most talented on this most happy of days. These days, it seems there is dread everywhere. Whether I'm sorry. War or dragon. What? But I beg you, here, today, put such fears aside. Enjoy yourselves. What now? No! I forgot to suplex. May you all be as happy in your lives as I know I will be in mine. Thank you again. Why is her voice Serana? Oh! There's someone, it's your wife! Where'd you go? to make this a truly extraordinary wedding. All of my dreams have come true. <laughs> Victoria! No! Where'd you come from? Okay, listen, I... I As absolutely amazing as that was. I don't want to get caught doing this. I have to figure you out... Helped to make this a truly ex I have to figure out something. Visibility. Ordinary wedding. All of my dreams have come true. So thank you. Thank you all. Mm. You get the bounty either way. There's a gargoyle up top. You can push that and, and use that to kill her. Well, we've done the suplex, so hang, hang on a minute. There, I think there's probably got to be a way that you could do this without getting caught. You have all helped to make this a truly extraordinary wedding. All of my dreams have come true, so thank you. 
Thank you all. Unholy hellfire shall rain upon this wedding. I have nothing to do with this attack. Oh, so many people are dead. That's so cool. You have to physically touch the gargoyle, so I'm in the wrong spot then. May you all be as happy in your lives as I know I will be in mine. I'm gonna try my method one more time. Oh, cool, cool noises. Thank you again for everything. Now, my you, Victoria. No. Shit. <laughs> Invisible suplex is pretty cool. Someone said that they spent fucking forever trying to do this. If you reload before she starts, unfortunately, I did not save just before she started. Lives as I know I will be in mine. Thank you again for everything. Speech is over. I think. Shoot her with an arrow from the ground. I mean, I have a save point where I have to do the whole wedding all over again. But if I get caught, no matter what, then... Oh. Vinny, it's a sign you have to suplex. She keeps giving speeches, Vinny, you're good. <laughs> Okay, well, the next speech, I'm gonna try the gargoyle, and if that doesn't... If I still get a bounty with gargoyle, then I'm going to suplex. Oh, that, that noise is wretched. Good people of solitude. My husband Aesgir and I thank you for coming to our reception. We thank you for sharing the love we have for each other. Today, the problems of Skyrim are not my problems, nor are they yours. Today, who's there? Victoria! No! I didn't get a bounty. The bride has been murdered. Somebody help! Serana resurrected the bride? Are you serious? Serana, why would you do that? Why would you do that, Serana, please? Serana is gonna get blamed. Who's this lizard person? The lizard's fighting people now. Huh. The bard is still playing. What a clusterfuck. Serana resurrects the dead bride. The bard still plays. 
that per lady just teleported down there. Oh shit. Oh, they're not coming. They're not coming for me. They're going for that lizard. The wrong lizard got blamed. Where'd you come from? They blame the they they blame the other Argonian, thinking it was me. Where'd you come from? It's scripted, but you fucked up by staying up there. Astrid wanted me to keep an eye on you. I figured you could use a hand when the chaos oh. erupted. All right, you're the thieves' guild, dude. Or, or, or sorry, Dark Brotherhood lizard. Well, I'm good now. I don't have a bounty. She's dead. Wait a minute. Hmm. Where's this flute? Must have been nothing. What's this flute noise coming from? How are you playing the flute? No, just checking. I never should have taken this job. Oh my god, this game. Hello. You're here for the wedding. I just came to sing. This is a horror show. I know. Who would do something like this? By the gods. The blood. The blood. Man, a lot of people died, huh? Oh, no, no, no. This is so wrong. They're crazy. I know. Who would do this? My daughter. Dead. No. I guess this wedding has turned into a funeral. Play that flute. Keep playing the flute. Yeah. Keep it light. Keep it merry. Mirthful. Yes. See? Everything's fine. Ignore the big icicle sticking out of the old man's... Oof. That's a rough one, right? In the stomach. And out the back. See? They're fine. They're fine. They're gonna give a speech. Right? What's going on? Why would somebody do that? Crazy. I didn't do it. You saw. I didn't do it. <laughs> the Emperor's cousin is dead. This is a disaster. I just came to sing. This is a horror show. I got away with it. Now to place a weapon in the right hands, just in case they need someone to blame. Ooh, sorry about that. Probably he did it, I would say. We'll meet back up at the sanctuary. I'll be fine. Go. Okay. Someday soon, you will all see back. What you do here today may well save your lives. Yep, everything's fine. They're all training again. Case closed. Case closed. I got away with it 100%. Life goes on. Dean Inga says a bard can never have enough practice, so... Would you like a tune? 
unsatisfying. I agree that the the um, suplex was way more satisfying, but somehow I managed to get away with that entirely, except for Vito poor Vittoria. And the other lizard is fine. No problems for the other lizard, even though he's just standing there. I don't even... I, I can't even process the chain of events. Serana bring Vittoria back. There was a battle. The lizard appears on the armaments. I escape. I run through the door. I go out the bottom. Lizard's there. Wedding ceremony and reception, rather, returns to watch the wedding that isn't happening. Rip Beanor. Oh, we got some good flute music. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. It's a lot of gold. Spectral assassin. So it's Lucian, but... I Listen, I, I didn't play as much Oblivion as I did this game. I played it, never beat it. Did a bunch of things. I don't think I did the Dark Brotherhood. I don't remember if I did. It was too long ago. Who's Lucian? The main Dark Brotherhood guy you worked with in Oblivion. I, I should remember that if I did Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion. I, I think I did a little bit, but I don't I don't know. The memories are gone. Um, also... Where the fuck is it? Oh, here he is. Hello, greet greetings. Would you wish to talk about Skyrim? The temple contract? Well, I certainly won't deny. <laughs> Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. You sleep rather soundly for a murderer. Doesn't ring a bell, sadly. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, the security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow, Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. I, I love the over-eager responses for the Dark Brotherhood. Like, role-playing way too hard. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of there each city in Skyrim. Yeah. Go there now. Observe it. Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. 
Perhaps we should find to earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid is authorized. Oh my god, to Spider, shut the fuck up. Bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble the in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Okay. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated. His family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. The Spectral Assassin has a number of unique dialogue options for this specific mission, it seems. No, so your best plan is to follow him after he leaves Dragonbridge. However, there is one other option. We know there's an actual written travel schedule somewhere in the Penitus Archaeologist oh outpost. Securing that would, obviously, be most beneficial. Walk in Gaius Morrow's shadow and deliver to him the judgment of Sithis. Babette <laughs> just stares at the spider all day. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Two hundred years ago, I would have lain down my life for the unholy matron. But that age is long since past. Astrid is my matron now. This is a clusterfuck of a cave. Stay safe. Everyone talks over each other. I'm surprised. I had assumed you were more competent. Are you? Are you kidding me? I. I didn't leave yet. I've been here for all of 25 seconds. Holy shit, that is rude. You think Saran is going to play nice with my new my new friend? Oh my god. Oh god, I can't- I can't find the way out. The wrath of Sithis. Oh, the game is falling apart. At the seams. We got loud, loud spider noises. This dude won't shut the fuck up. I'm lost. Wow, how did I get lost in the Dark Brotherhood? What is- What is wrong with me? Oh. Get me out of here, please. Oh my god. I can't get out! I don't know how to get out! Okay. I don't think I can start this quest now because it's it's gonna be probably a while. You've been alive for a little while, haven't you? I guess he's just coming to terms with the fact that he's alive, but he's still kind of dead. You should keep it up. Listen, uh, yeah, we'll do that next time. We'll do that next time. I want to do the optional vert, uh, part of it as well. Uh, 
Um, let's see if I can do another random little quest. Well, I have a mammoth tusk. I can do that one. Not that I have any r idea of what that quest is anymore. Like I don't, I don't know who Yasalda is. I don't remember. Winterhold. Oh, okay. There's Dragon Bridge. Yeah, well, we can't do that tonight. But soon. Let's go see what the bard looks like. Remember, I have a bard now. Yastalda is in Whiterun. Oh, that's cool. It, sh it showed not Whiterun on the map. Alright, so I have, uh, have a horse. Okay, hi horse. What's your name? In my time, the blades oh protected the emperor. These menitus unculatus will be incompetent. Good horse. Okay, another. Uh, there's a chicken. I think I, uh, that might be a new chicken. Planting false evidence, destroying an innocent All right. man's reputation. All right. Jesus. Shut up. Okay. Can't think. That cow has survived dimensions. It knows what happened across all dimensions. Every time I save and load, the There's cow knows. In the air. I can taste it. Butterf butterflies aren't supposed to do this, right? They're not supposed to just be frozen. The cow's magic was too powerful. I think the cow is... Possibly a seer of some kind. A prophet. The most powerful entity in all of Skyrim. Again. So anyway... These butterflies, I think, are broken. Yeah. I think they think they're landing on something, but they're not. So, can I never get him back? Vinny, that makes the guild mad at you. It's a once a day summon. Is the guild really gonna be pissed if if they know I killed that dude? Who's dead already? You have to pay a fine? No. They don't know you did it. Japes? Okay, that was Japes. It's like, how would they know I killed a ghost? Oh, it spoke to them. Clearly. Also, what are they doing with this soul? That whole time? Like, keeping it in, like, a book or something? What if he didn't want to be in a book? Allow me to introduce myself. 
I am the Bard Llewellyn, known as the Nightingale. Your steward has arranged for me to take service with you. Of course, anything you like. Ah, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from Old Rorik's stead. And the braggart did swagger, brandish his blade as he told of both battles in gold he had made. Help me! Help me! Please! No! Oh! Lydia, come on, not you. We're what are you not you too. Honored to see you again, my Thane. Weren't you just crying bloody murder? Lydia, we may need a new bard. I'll need an orcish bard, please. That was a good suplex, you gotta admit. That was a good one. But you know, I can't live in that dimension. Remember, the cow knows all. The cow knows what happened. The cow will judge me harshly, but say nothing. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the Bard Llewellyn, known as the Nightingale. Your steward has arranged for me to take service with you. Well, I was in this house, just a barrel of fun and laughs. We got a Bard, we got a vampire, we got Lydia. Can you get Lynn Honored in the house, please? Again, my th Certainly. What did you have in mind? I'll see to it at once. A, a chicken? Oh. Okay, you're off center. And you're off center. Oh, you're okay, I think. Honor to you, my fame. I'm not doing that treasure chest again. Um, eventually, <laughs> maybe I'll sell some of this stuff eventually. Probably not. Come into my house. You eat my soup. Yeah, that was the best suplex yet. That was a really good one. Like, his fucking body went flying. God... Damn, I love that suplex. Damn, Lydia's fast. How does she do it? Oh, here it is. White run. Marry the Argonian guy who got stuck in a Falmer dungeon, then adopt a kid. I don't think I want to.
could marry a lizard and adopt twice to make it more hectic. All right. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Yorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. Where is where is the lizard? Tell me about the lizard. Don't want to marry. Such cool noises. Once I've made enough. Thank you. This should turn that old cat's gaze. Maybe I'll be able to become a caravaneer myself one day. As promised, huh. let me show you a thing or two about bargaining. Don't want some shifty merchant giving you a raw trade. Farewell. Windhelm? I never remember where Windhelm is, ever. Is it right? Is it left? What's the deal? The Windhelm docks. So, wait, does the girl lizard have a child that can be adopted as well? This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. All can. Okay. So, um, docks. You need to do a quest to get the item you need to propose. You also need to do a quest for the character you want to propose to. Oh man, that's hey, too much work. The one who killed Elaine the Font up in Ralvata. Oh yeah, worried about that. Farm work is hard work. It's good to relax when I can, but I still have to listen to my brothers harping about injustices. Justice. Every night, I walk around a great quarter and let them gray skins know what I think of them. Uh, that's the by umbilical cord. Was murdered in solitude at her own damn wedding. Crazy. Yeah, definitely not a lizard that did that. Nope. Resolution is garbage. Can't blame it. At least it runs at constant 30 FPS. You know I'm streaming only at 720p, right? It's only 30, that's correct. It is locked at 30. It's the fucking crackling that's worse than the resolution, though. But I, I mean... Maybe it's the stream that looks like poop? Because the game looks pretty solid to me in terms of re resolution. This is not a very graphically intensive game for the Switch. So... Yes, even for the lowly Switch. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, just, just let those rocks disappear. Well, at the very least I can get this thing started and I can meet the uh, Argonian wife. Maybe. In Helm Stables. Someone inevitably asks if this is vanilla every time. And again, it's the Switch version. There's no mods on the Switch version. It is portable, however. Surprisingly decent on the Switch little screen. Like, that was the thing that caught me off guard. That's why I started playing it again. I was able to play it in bed. And it looked pretty good and ran fairly solid for, you know, whatever Skyrim solid may be. Um...
I don't see. Maybe this isn't the spot I need to be at. If you could live anywhere in Skyrim, where would it be? I kind of like solitude. Okay. Okay. Some good footsteps you got there. Why don't you just smooth criminal warp on backwards? Oh, hey, Serana! Good guard duty. I, I look at that walking animation, those steps. That is so amazing. Even Serana kind of teleports. It's east of the city. Oh, I see. Ah! Oh, I see. What a great name. A boat? Nope. Very well. There once was a man named Gort from the Bort. I heard you were at the wedding of the Emperor's cousin. In solitude. God. That must have been horrible. Awful. Really a shame. Word gets around quick. How do they know what I look like? Do I have any distinctive features? Like... One specific... Like... Horn? The lizard in the cave is better as they are also a companion. Oh, I don't- I don't want a companion. I want li I want Serana as my companion. And also... You know, Cicero becomes a companion eventually. The Nords don't appreciate us, but so what? I don't appreciate them right back. Is this the one? Haven't seen you here before, Egg Brother. Well, Egg Brother. The docks can be a dangerous place. Don't expect me to save you if you fall in. I've not heard Egg Brother before. Um, I don't think I I don't think I like Egg Brother. Uh. Where's the lusty f uh, female Argonian maid for my, you know, for my lizard? I'm just curious. I was told there would be a lusty Argonian maid here. And not an egg brother. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. I don't even... Do we meet officially? She's at the tanner. The the tanning run. Oh, there, there we go. Windhelm has been hard on my people, but our fortunes will turn, and we have shelter and food. I'm one of your people. We have not fared well outside our native Black Marsh, but we're determined to make the best of things. This is so ridiculous. I began praying to Zenithar, the god of talking wealth, lizards, to bring us some fortune. The thieves made off with my sacred amulet almost as soon as I bought it. Shavi would be in your debt, kind one. Oh yes, after all, what's the point in being miserable all the time? I know life on the docks isn't easy. Sometimes life puts you in difficult circumstances you didn't choose. But being happy or unhappy is a choice you make. And I've chosen to make the best of things that I can. I enjoyed our talk. Guards like nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. Hey, did you know about that book the last the Argonian made? I read it last week. Can you reenact scenes from it, please? Are we in Atlantic City? Oh, <laughs> she kind of does sound. Hey, motherfucker. 
My choice of being happy or unhappy is my own choice, okay, motherfucker? Why, you wanna come back and get this lussy? Huh? Or perhaps she's Marge Simpson. Marge after even more cigarettes. So, this will be my final task. I'm just gonna get the amulet and then save. Who are you? Why, why are you here too? Kinda don't want you here. I mean, thanks, but... Kinda get around faster without a horse. Horses in Skyrim are slow as fuck. What's coming after me? What is it? Oh, it's a dragon. Those poor people. They may be slow as shit, but they are sturdy as fuck! Whoa, Serana! <laughs> Slightly more pressing issues at hand, Serana. So my, the horse is just gone now? got this. I, I've become quite good at this. Shame about the horse, but I didn't really fucking ask it to come with me. Vinny, you were worried about today not living up to the height of the last stream. You should never worry about Scrum. There was like, yeah, at least like a half a dozen amazing things that happened on tonight's stream, maybe more. I will never doubt or question the Scrumming again. That's it. I just, I won't. I know better now. a hero, a god. Oh! Serana, come on, let me do the lines. You didn't get the kill, I did. God damn it, Serana, god. Why are you doing this to this poor creature? Leave it dead. Do it. A 
Okay, this will be the last thing I do. I'm gonna not even leave the cave. I'm just gonna save in the cave after I get the amulet. Didn't see me, even while I was standing. Ooh, oh, brutal. It's good. It's good. Yeah, no, no stealthing in this cave. a little bit of spell scan. That's it, just a little bit. Did you hear something? Yeah, I heard your fucking orc that you brought back to life because you're insane. Leave them dead. I, I really, really should- I love these arrows so much, but I shouldn't use them. Not so frequently. That's my kill! That's my kill! That's my kill! You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Serana, kill your own friend. Suplex. Just a stupid amulet lizard. Oh well. More books for the library. Uh, I think that's about it. There's not really much to this place, is there? You know something that hasn't happened today? Serana infinitely sucking the energy from someone. So I need a ring, or I need some kind of necklace to, um, actually get the marriage started. I can't believe I'm doing this. And, like, only a minute after I said I wasn't doing it. Oh, there's more to this. Is it, like, a jail? Yeah, it's a jail. Alright. Let's stop here. In Riften, you get it. Okay. Next stream, I'll marry Lizard. We'll do... We'll kill the Emperor. It'll be great. Looking forward to it. Genuinely look forward to these streams very much. And, uh, Subnautica was fun, too. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, so here's my bingo sheet.
let's see. Let's see what I've got. Title T. Okay. So, um, let's see. Uh, I don't think we got that one. Wildlife gets stuck. Did we get that one? Uh, definitely got to teleports behind you without a doubt. The butterfly got stuck. Okay. Objects stuck in things with no logical explanation. Did that happen? I don't think so. You did. Oh, yeah, I, I guess. Do, do I count as an object? Uh, I don't think I mentioned Blade Runner today. Oh, wait, I just did. That doesn't really count, does it? Um, lusty Argonian made. In a different sense, we got the Lusty Argonian made for sure. Uh, psychic Guards. I think we got psychic guards. They knew about the fucking thing. They knew it was me, the murder in um in thing purity speech at the wedding. Wait, so I got that one too. There was a Nord rant at the wedding. Jesus fuck. Chat member gets Vinny to reply about using a controller, of course. Objects moving for no apparent reason. I don't know if we got that one. Definitely got Vinny admires his archery. I did a rant about the Nords. That doesn't really count. Um, how about objects moving for no reason? Books. Flute. The books. No, I can't say that one. The fl not even the flute, really. AI logic breakdown for sure. But the, that was the flute. Vinny stumbles upon a giant clusterfuck of a battle. There was a clusterfuck of a battle. I didn't stumble upon it. I caused it. Does that count? Bad jokes. Of course. Always. That's That may as well be the middle. The clusterfuck of a battle was probably the giant in the beginning. That's true. There was also the giant, which I stumbled upon. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that one. Objects floating mysteriously in the air. Yeah, the butterfly was floating, but that's also wildlife gets stuck. Does it count? It's not an object, it's wildlife. I, I can't, you know, I can't do that one. I'm not going to count it. Extreme NPC apathy to surroundings, of course. That just happened a bunch. I mean, the horse with the dragon. The, dra the horse was in the dragon fire for that long. NPCs ignored that I killed, um, you know, that there was a murder at the wedding. NPC makes ironic, oblivious statement. That happened at the wedding. Screech, loud noises. That's the spider, for sure. And plenty of other, um, like, crackles. Vinny's cow is assaulted once again, of course. Oh, yeah, don't forget the carriage driver. Carriage driver was oblivious. Vinny completes a quest. I did not activate his skin today. Vinny can't remember something he did five seconds ago. That's, oh, that's a bingo. Got a bingo. Got two bingos so far. Didn't even notice that first one. See? Then he can't remember something he did five seconds ago. Amazing NPC animations. The guards walking animation up the steps was just one example of that. And Vinny puts his dictionary class to good use. I think I said something like much good. Uh, 
Oh yeah, and the flute guy for the NPC animations. So we get two bingos. Grotty. I, I said Grotty and Lussy. Grotty is a thing, isn't it? It is, yeah. Grotty is a real word. Amulator? Of course you- you know what? Yes. Dictionary class to good use. Four corners counts as a bingo, then okay. There's another bingo. Bing yacht. Some of these are too easy. That's the problem. I mean, so so much of this just happens. Remember, if you refresh, you get a whole different card. So it's random. There's a fuckload of parameters, and it's all random. Um, so... Some people's sheets may not look like this. They might be less bingos. And some just never happen. But, uh, yeah. Someone, uh, Cyber says they got zero. So I got a bunch. Next time I'll try to cut down on similar ones. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a process of refining. You know, there's there's definitely a way to refine this to get it to the ultimate level of Bingyat. But for now, we're definitely having a good time with this. I love Skyrim Bingo almost as much as actually streaming Skyrim. So, thanks for playing along, thanks for watching, thanks Sad Vega for making this, and, um, let's take a look at the art at 3.45 a.m.